Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the new PX6 unit. Uh, we are coming out with several cars. This is the Dodge Ram that we're looking at today. And a couple things to note with the PX6, it is now six cores, which means it should run a lot faster and smoother compared to the PX3, which was four cores. Let's uh, turn it on. So one thing to note with the PX6, it is not fast boot. It is a regular boot, but the regular boot is pretty quick. It's a uh, max 20 seconds. This is the boot time. So if you want to start your timer right now and see what it is, you can change the picture of that Dodge picture to whatever you want. It's just in the settings below. Um, the PX6 unit is now Bluetooth 5.0 capable. So if you know anything about the Bluetooth versions, 5.0 just means you can connect multiple devices at the same time. So I have sound. So if I press play here on the Bluetooth music, it does auto connect to my phone for the Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi. So you can hear the sound. And uh, one thing we talked about earlier was you guys had issues with the navigation opening and the sound stopping. We did fix that with the software. So if I open navigation, navigation Google Maps opens a lot quicker and the sound is still playing. Uh, if I go to Bluetooth, you can see I have a split screen right here. So split screen is still an option here. This is Android 8.0. And 8.0, of course, is higher than Android 7. And in the future, you could possibly, we are not sure yet, it might be a hardware fix or a software update. Uh, it might be Android 9.0 compatible. So AC controls are still the same. That thing will pop up. You can turn on the air conditioning. Uh, let's see, turn on air conditioning, do some temperatures. And that's your air conditioning control. Another thing to know, if you look at the product page, you can add an option for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You do have to add it to the unit when purchasing it. If you don't purchase the unit with the uh, add-on, $25 add-on, currently it's 25 bucks, but it, if you don't add that feature, it won't be built into the unit. You do have the app here, but this specific unit does not have that add-on feature in. So I press the app, it does not work. Uh, a couple of things to note, these are the icons, currently still not being able to change it yet, we're working on that. And this is a 4 gigs of RAM, 32 hard drive. So now the PX6 units have more RAM, which means you can definitely do a lot more multitasking. And it's much smoother if you can see with this demonstration. But let's go to the radio. Let's see radio. And let's stop this split screen. There you go. So Google Maps is a lot quicker just because now we have PX6, six cores, four gigs of RAM. Everything is just a lot smoother and quicker. Another thing to note, uh, because it is a PX6 unit, it has a couple of new features. The mic has gotten better. We have gotten them to put a better mic on it. And sound quality for the speakers themselves, your factory speakers, whether you have Sony or you have Bose or Bang & Olufsen or just the regular standard JBL speakers on most cars, uh, it is better. So sound quality is better coming from these units. And you can add extra um, external monitors as well as aftermarket sound systems. Other than that, PX6 I think is pretty much a lot quicker, a lot smoother, uh, just not fast boot yet. That's a quick rundown of the PX6. You still have the phone link so you don't need CarPlay to do uh, screen mirroring with iPhone Wi-Fi, Android Wi-Fi, and Android USB. If you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments below or also uh, send us an email or give us a call. Our number is down below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.